In this week's episode, we are about to tour a historic $9 million loft here in NoHo. Let's go check out the space. So welcome to the apartment. This is the entry lobby way, as you can see here. You have your floating staircase off to the left. This is a duplex apartment. It's four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, just under 4,300 square feet. And once again, this is a historic loft to just come on in, enter, and you have your open concept loft space. You can see the ceilings are 13 feet high. This was actually an old mercantile library back in the day, which has been converted to this pretty incredible living space. To start off the tour here, we have a little sitting area when you walk in, some mirrors on the wall to add that depth to the space and really break it up since it is so open concept. Off of the seating area here, below our feet, we have five inch white oak floors on the planking below us. Making our way deeper into the loft, we have your formal seating area with this elongated couch here. And you'll notice there's actually no television in here. And that's done really just to keep the serenity of the space. It's a very calming, relaxing space and having a TV would kind of get in the way of that. But I want to bring your attention to the back windows here. You have views of Cooper Square. You have some light snow falling down in New York City. It's a very historic area in New York City. This loft has eastern and northern facing views and the beauty of having a loft space like this is you have these awesome nine foot windows. We have nine of them throughout this open loft space on the first floor and then this exposed red brick. I don't know about you, but the red brick in a New York City apartment like that just does it for me. I want to talk about this. So to break up the space now into the dining room, we have this raised white oak platform with the lighting built right underneath the stairs here. And because the ceilings are so high, you can have this raised up elevated above your entertaining area, just giving it a nice kind of juxtaposition and mix up with the space. Making our way into the dining room, we have seating for eight with this marble table, modern light fixture above us, again with these nine foot windows, you know, scaffolding right now, but that just kind of comes with the territory in the city. It's not permanent. Making your way off of this dining room platform, we enter your chef's kitchen. Front and center here, we have your island with this curved breakfast bar here. And this is a fully integrated kitchen where you could have a commercial chef come in here and cook. You have an eight burner cooktop here with this beautiful hood above, stone on the backsplash, giving it that nice elevated feeling. And then everything's built in. I won't even point this out. So you have all your appliances hidden away nicely in here, microwave, coffee maker, all of that. I think it's a nice touch, especially in a loft. Plenty of countertop space, dishwasher built right in here with the white oak on the cabinetry two deep set sinks here. I also love if you look down below here, you have the stainless steel running the entire length of this countertop. You have your outlets built right in, the faucets built right in, and I love how it kind of matches the stainless steel of the refrigerator and the cooktop, giving it that really industrial feeling throughout the whole kitchen. I even want to point this out. You have this little cupboard here for all of your tea, your spices right here so you can access them and actually cook in this kitchen. I know that's a rarity in New York City, actually cooking in your kitchen, but with this apartment, you can do just that. Tons of space to cook. You have your Sub-Zero refrigerator, and then right off of the refrigerator, check this out, you have your push to touch it and open Chef's Pantry, where you actually have wine storage here, more shelving space, and even an ice maker. All right in the kitchen, so this is really a chef's kitchen in a New York City apartment. And I really like how they integrated it in this open concept loft space. Moving off of the kitchen, we're gonna make our way back to the front of the apartment. And I really wanna point out how thoughtful and minimal all this design is. I love how you have the floating black staircase with that black wood going all the way up the double height of this duplex. And even here on this far back wall, this is all that white oak that we have on the floor and everything is trimless and hidden. So this is actually a powder room which opens up, you can see everything even in here is so minimal. You have this beautiful aluminum pounded sink here, this minimal vertical mirror on the back of the vanity. Right off of this powder room, you have your closet space for your coats when you enter the apartment. Another feature that isn't common in many New York City apartments is this, a hidden room, come on in. This is actually the control center of the house. So this is a fully integrated savant system. So it is a smart house and this is your laundry room. Not many apartments have a dedicated laundry room pantry, but this one does. You have all your washer and dryers, hanging racks, storage all the way up these 13 foot ceilings and then all of the HVAC, all the utilities right here in this room. 
Now, if we make our way out and head across the hallway, we have the first of four guest bedrooms. And as you can see, this is a super large guest bedroom for a New York City apartment. In this first guest bedroom, you have two of those oversized nine foot windows giving you tons of sunlight into the space. You even have that little sliver of that red brick. And this is an ensuite bathroom, which is pretty awesome. So you could have your guests staying here and never really leave this guest bedroom. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this week's episode, Omaze. Now Omaze gives away one of a kind prizes and experiences while donating money to chosen charities all across the world. And this prize is a $4.3 million Lake Tahoe dream home or the option to choose $3 million in cold hard cash instead of the house. This home is a four bedroom, seven bathroom, modern rustic home with mountain and lake views situated at the base of a ski resort. The home has a theater, a game room, rooftop deck with a fire pit. This five 5,200 square foot Lake Tahoe dream house is built with reclaimed materials from all over the world. Funds raised will support after school all stars and their work to provide free comprehensive programs and essential resources for low income students and families across the US. And their mission is simple to help keep children safe and help them succeed in school and in life. Now for your chance to win the $4.3 million Lake Tahoe dream home or the $3 million in cash, click the link down below or go to amaze.com slash Eric. That's amaze.com slash E R. R I K. Again, Omaze, thank you for sponsoring this week's episode. And with that, let's head back and check out the rest of this NoHo Dream Loft. This bathroom on the floor, we have white oak, along with on the ceiling and even on the towel rack in the corner, you have that exposed red brick, giving you that New York City feeling. And I want to point out that the walk-in shower, the ceiling height is actually raised to about 10 feet, just giving you that volume in the shower. I love a nice tall shower. It's a very strange thing, but it makes a difference. So heading out of this first guest bedroom, we will now make our way back into the hallway where you have the laundry room, powder room, and now finally we're going up this beautiful steel staircase with the white oak planks. You even have that white oak here in the railing. And I love just that dark and wood on the back here going up the full double height of this duplex to the second floor of the apartment. It's pretty cool because from this landing here, you can look down and really appreciate just how high 13 foot ceilings are in a New York City apartment. The perspective of this is pretty sweet. But let's keep going on up. Another detail even on this staircase is you can see this steel here actually runs through each individual piece of the white oak planks on the staircase. Like if you look, you have one, two, three, cutting right through the planks here. I thought that was pretty cool. I just saw that as I was walking up the staircase, but welcome to the second floor. Here's your oversized landing. This is a very unique space. So before we go to the primary, let's head back to the guest wing and you actually have this built in here, all this built in shelving. This could technically be just a open concept office area. You could really do anything with this space. Uh, and then this, this is actually the portal to Narnia, shall we? I'm not sure where this is from or how old it is, but it's definitely very antique and very important. But behind me, this is the second bedroom. And this bedroom, we actually have the blinds that are down currently just because the Wi-Fi is not working with the house, but you can see the space. Again, it's all en suite. Towards the back of this, you have floor to ceiling closet space built right in here. And this is cedar. You can't smell this, but the smell from here, whew, Nice cedar closet space. And then again, that ensuite bathroom built right in here. And just like the guest bedroom downstairs, you have that red brick running up the entire length of this duplex. And I like how they left that exposed, giving you that New York feeling. Leaving this bedroom, we're back into this main area off of the staircase. Again, there's that home office. In front of us here, another huge column supporting this structure. For the primary suite, you don't have one, but two entrances, one here, and then one off to the side on my right. We're gonna head through this one. Again, that white oak going up the side here with that built-in shelving, another huge column. And now this, this is the primary suite where you have these classic half moon windows overlooking Cooper Square, Astor Place with that red brick. In my opinion, this is one of the most New York bedrooms I've ever seen. There's a lot to break down. If you look here, all the cabinetry again, it's all built-ins with that cedar right off your built-in closet with the dresser and there's actually a TV that pops up out of here. The bed takes up all the real estate in this primary suite with this beautiful built-in here, side tables on either side of the bed and behind more storage space. And then in front of me, you actually have built-in LED lights illuminating floor to ceiling mirrors so you can actually use this as a changing room for the morning and I like how it is an open concept. It kind of keeps with the theme of that first level where the bed is just taking up all the space here. It's very minimal, and especially with these half moon windows, it really just gives a, a certain feeling, a very New York feeling. 
But if we head over this way, we now enter the walk-in closet and primary bathroom. And this has a very yacht-like feeling. I've been kind of getting that vibe throughout the whole space. Here you have your soaking tub built right in marble on the countertop and that soaking tub. Behind me you have your steam shower enclosed in with floor to ceiling marble and a nice little seat here. This is the first time we've actually seen marble in the apartment, which is interesting because it's been very rustic and very industrial. And of course you have your, you have your Toto toilet, which does everything, rinse, scrub, heat, cool, all that good stuff. You have your built-in TV. And if we make our way across this way, you have some more closet space here. Again, with that high ceiling height, these are 10 foot ceilings in here. Because the ceilings are so high, you have these built-in drop downs just so you can access your clothing all the way up there because of the high ceiling height. Now, if we make our way into this room, this is technically the fourth bedroom. It could be an extension of that primary suite. And here it's kind of staged almost as an office. So it could be a office, a guest bedroom. And again, this has that built-in ensuite bathroom here with all the same finishes as that primary bathroom with your magic Toto toilet.